Hey, Bobcats, it's Mr. Cadden. I'm going to share a story with you called Alan's Big Scary Teeth by Jarvis. Um, this week's focus is on always um, caring. So let's see what we find that coming through in this story tonight. Hope you enjoy it. Alan's Big Scary Teeth by Jarvis. There's Alan. There's Alan's Big Scary Teeth. Alan came from a long line of very scary alligators. He was known throughout the jungle for his scaring. It was what he did best. Alan would start each day polishing his scales, sharpening his nails, and brushing each of his big scary teeth for at least 10 minutes at a time. And after practicing his frightening faces in the mirror, grrr, He'd sneak into the jungle for his morning round of scaring. <coughs> Welcome to the jungle. Alan went, snap, snap, snap. And grr, grr. He said things like, I'm big, scary Alan. Feel my razor sharp teeth. That does sound scary. He made the frogs leap off their lily pads, the monkeys tumble from the trees, and parrots screech in terrible terror. Snap, snap, grrr, smack. <laughs> I love being scary, said Alan. Frightening. After a long day of scaring the jungle animals, Alan would head back home to the swamp relax, finish the crossword in The Jungle Times, and take out his false teeth. <gasps> Nobody knew about Alan's false teeth. Good night, teeth. Tweet dreams with my dairy snappers, Alan would say as he put them away carefully in his super secret hiding place. One morning, Barry the beaver was up early collecting wood and came across a dozing Alan. Terrified that Alan might wake up and gobble him whole, he quickly dived behind a bush. Phew, that was close, thought Barry, just as a set of false teeth fell out of a bush with a very familiar snap snap. When Alan awoke, his teeth were gone. My teeth! Where are my teeth? What could he do? Maybe no one would notice. Could he still be scary without them? He decided to head into the jungle as usual. He made the frogs leap off their lily pads, the monkeys tumble from the trees, and the parrots screech. With laughter, Alan just wasn't very scary without his teeth. Snap, snap, oh. <laughs> Alan slunk back into the swamp. He had never been more embarrassed. He came from a long line of very scary alligators. Scaring was all he had ever known. What would Alan do now? Hmm, let's find out. Poor Alan began to cry, just a bit at first. But then the tears kept coming. He howled and yowled more than all the jungle babies put together. And he could not stop crying until... The next morning, when all the animals turned up at Alan's swamp with his big scary teeth. We'll give you back your teeth, said Frog. Let's see about the rules. Will he? said Alan. On one condition, said Parrot, you have to stop scaring us. But what will I do? I don't know how to do anything else. We have an idea, said Frog. This page is a little slow. Oh, turning, here we go. And so every day after polishing his teeth, scales, and sharpening his nails, and brushing his big scary teeth, Alan headed into the jungle and became Alan the gardener. Alan, the hairdresser, snappy cats, and Alan, 
The dentist. Hmm. But every night, he became Alan, the big scary storyteller, thrilling the jungle animals with his terrifying tales. <laughs> I love being scary, said Alan. And sometimes he even let Barry borrow his teeth. Grrr! The end. All right, Bobcats, I hope you enjoyed that story and you saw how the other animals were showing that they can care and help Alan turn it around. Um, I look forward to hearing your stories and how you're being kind this week at home as well. Remember, you're loved.